Hello everyone, my name is Martijn and today I'm going to show you how to make a metadata sensitive block. Now what is a metadata block? Well, in Minecraft each different kind of block, so grass, dirt and everything like that, has a ID. And there is a limit of IDs you can have, so there is a limit of maximum different kind of blocks you can have. And since uh, mods tend to... Um, have a lot of new blocks in their mod you might override that limit uh, someday so it's our job to keep that id usage as low as possible uh, therefore we have metadata so for example wool uh, there are like 15 of 16 blocks of wool but they all use one uh, id and that is because they share one id but they all have different metadata same goes for stairs and fences and stuff like that wood um so as long as blocks act the same and are for the greatest part the same we can make the metadata sensitive so that's what we're going to do right now we're going to make a metadata sensitive block so first we're going to create one of the basic blocks again so public static block and i'm going to call mine multi block and we're gonna assign that field multi block is new multi block. So if you do not know what I am doing right now, then you should look back some tutorials because this is uh, all explained before. I'm gonna delete this and import another Minecraft block. I'm gonna create a public multi block. It takes no parameters, but we do give it. A super that will be material.rock uh, what else do we have to do we have to set the block name of course set block name constants dot mod id plus an underscore plus the name and we need to make that field so a private final no let's make uh, yeah private final field uh, <laughs> string of course name is gonna be multi block we're gonna set the creative tab set creative tab creative tabs dot tab block there we go so that's the basic mod block now we're gonna um, start making the metadata now what I like to do is uh, store the number of metas you will have in a field in the mod class. So I'm going to call that max meta. And for this tutorial I'm just going to use three. So three meta blocks. Now we also need a pub, uh, private... Oops, what's that? Back. A private uh, icon, array icons. We're going to... Create that field, icons is new i icon array with the value of max meta. Import that. So um yeah, we're gonna also register the block icon, so override register block icons. Um gonna rename this icon registerer uh, for int y is zero y is less than the max meta well actually let's do icons.length and uh, uh, y plus plus so for every icon in the array icon register dot register icon uh, what shall we do constants dot mod id dot mod id plus a colon plus the name plus y so uh, yeah, should be fine, right? Cool. So we're also gonna have a method get icon. Now this is gonna be a little bit trickier. Well, not that, not too tricky. Um, this takes two parameters, a side and a meta. So right now, we can return the icon depending on the side and the meta. So uh, let's make a switch statement. Switch uh, the meta. And in case uh, the meta is zero, we're gonna have uh, return icons uh, zero, like that. Um, and yeah, since we return something, we don't have to break. 
Case is one. We're gonna do a little bit uh, fun stuff. We're gonna switch. Decide. So, case the side is zero, we're gonna return icons one. Case the side is one, we're gonna return icons two. And by default, we're gonna return icons zero. So, um, yeah, so that's a way you can make it uh, metadata and side uh, dependent. We can also have a default RAR right here, icons, one, why not? Return. A little bit of formatting like that, cool. So that's an example of how you can have site and meta dependent, uh, depending icons. Very useful in, uh, in a lot of cases. Okay, so um, by default, if you break a block, it will always drop the, the metadata zero. And that's not what we want in our case. If we would destroy a block, we want to get the right meta. So we're gonna override a method called damage dropped. Uh, very easy method. It takes a meta and we're gonna return the meta. Wow, that was complicated. Not. Now, uh, one more thing we have to do is override another method, that is get subblocks. Subblocks is basically um, the method that adds all the icons to the creative tabs. So we want all our items to be added to the creative tab, so we need to do this. It takes three parameters, an item, a creative tab, and a list. And very simple, for int y is 0, y is less than the max meta, and y++, plus plus. list dot add element new item stack of an item, the value 1 and y. Just like that, it's that easy. So uh, that's, that's it for this class. Um, now for metadata, uh, it's a little bit different. You also have to create an item block, which is your block represented as item. And this is useful for um, stuff like naming. Um, yeah, basically for, for, for uh, things in the creative tab kind of way-ish. Hard to explain, actually. Anyway, we need one, so we're going to create one in the items class. We're gonna create a new Java class, item block multi block, just like that. Now this class, and I'm gonna delete this, extends item block, and this class needs to get from this uh, from the blah, blah blah blah. Sorry, use the Scala. We're gonna create the constructor item block multi block. This takes a block block. And we're gonna pass that right to the super class. So super block. Now we have an error. We can easily fix that like that. So uh, yeah, we need that in the constructor. Give me a sec. We also need to set has subtypes. Uh, what is this? Well, there is no Java Java, <laughs> Java doc, but it's basically um, true if it has made its data. Okay, so one um, method that is really important is override get unlocalized name. And we need to get an item stack from that. So item stack. So this is uh, where you name your items. So I'm gonna store a local string called name. And then I'm gonna switch the item stack dot get item damage. So this is the metadata of the item in the item stack. Well, Case is zero. Uh, name is gonna be, I don't know, first meta break. Why not? Case is one. Name is second meta break that. Case it's two. Name is third, third meta golem breaking. Default uh, name is uh, YOLO. 
break. So uh, you can have a different name for each meta, of course, um, as you would expect. Now we need to return something, so we return get unlocalized name plus let me think a dot symbol plus the name that we get up here from this method, from this piece of information, like that. Now we need to add our us dot u blah 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 this file. So tal dot tutorial orange underscore multi block dot uh, multi block dot first meta dot name is first meta block copy because I'm too lazy to type that again. We need only three first meta second meta. Third meta like that. So now all of our metas have a different name. Now there's one more thing we have to do in here, and that is to override the method get metadata. And for the same reason we did in the other class, basically. Just like that. Now, last thing we need to do is go back to multi-block and register this um, I, this block sort of thing. So game registry dot register block. It takes a this, and now it takes the class of the item block. So item block multi-block dot class, and it takes a name. Uh, yeah, name. No, why not? Should work. So let's run. I think I do not have any textures for this. Um, no, I do not have any textures for this, so I won't be able to demonstrate that. But it 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 works. I have tested this before, so uh, please don't comment that it doesn't work because it does. Yeah, some people are really weird saying that the tutorials don't work. Well, I show that it works on video. Don't get that from some people, but okay. Um, yeah, so start up a world, open up your creative tab, scroll all the way down, there you go. First meta block, second meta block, and third meta block. So yeah, that's basically uh, how we do that. So now we just saved two extra IDs which other mods can use if we don't need to use them. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, the lava texture is uh, a little bit weird. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, hopefully I'll see you next time.